Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out some Charlotte Tilbury foundations. Actually, she only has two in her line, but I just so happened to have both of them. I've actually had these for quite some time. Uh, this one I actually use a lot during summer and then the other one I have not tried yet so I thought that I would do it with you. I wanted to show you what a side by side of the two formulas look like so that hopefully if you guys are watching this video because you're trying to figure out which foundation you want to try, hopefully by the end of this video you will know which formula suits your skin best. And yeah, to be honest, I just kind of wanted to put them head to head because I wanted to see which one I liked better. I've been going through a lot of my foundations now that were, were full blown into fall, but we're also going to be getting into winter here pretty quick. And I know that as the seasons change, I always try to switch up my foundations just because your skin changes, at least mine does anyways. So I've been going through all my foundations and you guys know I have a lot. And then I also realized I haven't even talked about these on my channel yet. So I was like, what are you waiting for? So anyways, enough talking. If this sounds like something you guys are into, keep... And that's a fancy lid. Um, if you guys wanna see how this is gonna go down, keep on watching, click that subscribe button if you're new to my channel, and let's get into it, oh my gosh. So before we get started, I just wanted to tell you the biggest difference between the two. So with the Light Wonder, you can expect a more natural, more lightweight coverage. And then with the Magic Foundation, you're gonna get a more full coverage and long wearing foundation. In the Light Wonder, you have 10 different shades to choose from, and with the Magic Foundation, you have 20. I have shades seven for both of them. I did kind of struggle with finding my shade because I felt like I was in between and I just had to choose one, so I went with seven. All right, starting with the Light Wonder Foundation, it says this features ingredients to minimize your pores, decrease wrinkles, hydrate, smooth, and illuminate your complexion. And it says it's ideal for dry, normal, and combination skin types that want a light coverage buildable foundation. And the application tips on the website said to apply a small bit to your hand and then blend it in with your fingers or you could use a brush. But I actually, when I was wearing this in the summertime, just use my fingers, which is really surprising because I'm usually a sponge or a brush kind of girl but I found that the fingers or the hands has really helped kind of work it into the skin and warm it up nicely. And notice the radiance to my skin. I definitely get really glowy with this foundation, which is probably the reason why I wore it a lot during summer, because that's usually like the only time that I will be okay with my skin looking dewy or glowy, because I do have more combination oily skin, so in the winter, I tend to be a little bit more matte. Do you see what I mean about the color in that it's a little bit orangey, like it's definitely darker than my natural skin color, but when I checked out the six, it just looked way too light and almost cool tone. And it's quite rich to the touch at first, but it does kind of dry down and turn to like a gel uh, texture. So what it says to do is just add a little bit more product onto the areas that you like more coverage, and for me, that's the freckles, a little bit on the chin. So you see it's a really light, natural looking coverage. It honestly just looks like your skin, but better, very sheer. You can try and add more coverage, but to be honest, you're not gonna even be able to build it to a medium full, but that's what the Magic Foundation is for, so let's try that out. For flawless, poreless perfection, look no further than Magic Foundation. Even out your skin tone, reduce redness, conceal imperfections, and cover under eye circles with this multitasking foundation that will keep you looking perfect all day and night. So again, this is supposed to give you full coverage. It says it's ideal for flawless, poreless coverage, especially if you struggle with melasma, acne, or rosacea. And for this one, it says to use a brush. So I'm just applying it with my fingers and then using a brush to blend it out. And you can see the color on this one's kind of off too. Definitely darker than my skin tone. I think that if I were to go back and choose another shade, I might try, because I just saw on the website, I don't think that these were in store when I was choosing a shade, but I think I might try 6.5 or 6.75. I think I was just working with shades six and seven that day. So you can instantly see more coverage. Definitely working with more coverage with the Magic Foundation. 
It's starting to dry down, which is nice. You know what I just realized? I haven't even had to use a sponge yet. It actually works really well with a brush. I'm not seeing any brush strokes anywhere. Both sides are looking really good on the skin, especially like on the forehead. It's not drawing any like attention to my fine lines or my pores. Wow. Both kind of have the same texture, which is so interesting because they're so different from one another. Okay, I'm gonna show you that right now, actually. So here is the Magic Foundation. Here is the Light Wonder. You can see how it's a little bit more sheer, it's a little bit more fluid, it's dripping. The color difference right there, it's crazy. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in number two. I, you can see, have been using it. I bought this before I went to Greece because I wanted a good powder for my trip and everybody raved about this powder on how it makes your skin look so good and it's really nice to touch up with. It is nice and I think what I like about it is that it's very, like it's really fine so it doesn't look heavy or cakey on the skin. And I read that this is perfect to use to set the foundation, so that is what I'm doing. This side does look a little bit more matte. This side still has uh, radiance to it. It actually looks even more sheer now that the powders hit it. You can really see the freckles coming out. I added a little bit of mascara and some gloss, and while I was doing that, I was trying to think about which one I liked better, but honestly, they're just two different looks. The Light Wonder is like totally girl on the go, uh, early morning, I don't have much time, or like I'm going to the grocery store, I just want to put something on to even up my skin tone, have a little bit of coverage, and just look fresh. And the Magic Foundation is like, I'm going out tonight and I need to look flawless, this is it. And if I had to, like if I had to choose right now, you guys already know, I'm going with the Magic Foundation, it looks so good. And you know what's yeah, you know what I really love about it is it's giving me really flawless looking coverage, but it doesn't look thick, it doesn't look cakey, and it's so smooth on the skin. And just a few more things about the two, like the price, I haven't even mentioned that yet. Uh, the Light Wonder, if you live in Canada, is $50. If you're in the US, it's $46. And the Magic Foundation in Canada is $55, $50 in the US. They both contain an SPF of 15. And honestly, there's so many little fun facts on the website. Like I would just be talking too much if I were to read them all to you, but like the Light Wonder says it hydrates your skin for up to 18 hours. And then the Magic Foundation says that it has concentrated mushroom extract to help make your skin firmer and moisturized while vitamin C fights any signs of aging. I don't know what mushroom extract is, but it sounds good. Wow. I just turned the camera on. It's been a few hours and I saw what my face looks like. It's been about, I wanna say five and a half hours since we last spoke. I am really impressed to see that this side of my skin is still really quite matte. The oils have started to kind of come through, but I don't look greasy. Whereas on this side, I got a little situation going on over here. I'm looking, I'm looking a little dewy. I've also noticed, I don't know if it is because of the foundation or anything, but since we last spoke, I have a few whiteheads that have come to the surface. That's pretty gross, but one here, one here. I think one coming right there too. Out of the two, I am totally into the Magic Foundation. It totally takes the cake for me. I think just because I do have more oily skin, I'd rather go with something more mattifying and something that makes my skin look ridiculously flawless. Here's the big question though. After seeing both of the foundations, which one did you guys like? Which one do you think would be better suited towards your skin? Leave me a comment and let me know what kind of skin you have and then let me know which foundation you think that you would try out out of the two. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys liked this video. It was fun for me to film. If you'd like to see me review another foundation, you know what to do, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Subscribe if you're new. And make sure to check out my vlog channel. It's called Life with Trina. You can click this box. It'll take you over to my vlog channel. Subscribe, watch some videos, and I will see you all in the next one.